How's it guys? Today I want to show you how you can do this cool animated poster effect in After Effects. So let's jump in. Before you get started on After Effects, you are going to have to do a little bit of work in Photoshop in order to separate your picture into a bunch of layers. So you do this by opening up your picture in Photoshop and then this is where it takes a little bit of time but you have to use your pen tool and cut out each object that you want to have as a separate layer. So I cut out the rocks in front, I cut out the spaceship, the two spaceships in the back, I cut out the king himself and then I cut out the statue of of the panther. You need to do this in order to have a clean background and create a clean plate. After that, what you'll need to do is use your clone stamp tool and try and fake a background. Guys, I'm not a professional at all. You hold the Alt key in order to choose a place that you want to copy and then you click in order to copy that chosen selection somewhere else. In this instance, it was really easy to clone out the background of the spaceships because there's not a lot of background behind them. But what took a bit of time was taking out the Black Panther himself as well as the statue. And as you can see, I didn't do the clean plate all the way through because that statue is going to overlap itself and we don't need a complete clean plate. So what I have is good enough. Make sure that you create a new layer for each object or subject that you're cutting out. Once you have all your subjects, objects, on different layers, you can save your file as a PSD file. Now let's jump into After Effects. The great thing about After Effects is that it works so well with Photoshop. So I have my PSD file that I've saved here. And all I'm gonna do is just drag it into After Effects and this little window will pop up. What you wanna do is make sure that you have this top option selected, editable layer styles and click OK. What that's gonna do, it's gonna create a composition with all of your layers inside of it. So now I double click on it and I have all of my layers from Photoshop right here in front of me, which is exactly what I want. As you can see, I can turn them off individually and there's my beautiful, wonderful clean plate. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn all of our layers into 3D layers, but I'm gonna hide these ones because I don't actually need them. If you can't see the 3D layer or this hide all layers, the shy button, you can click this toggle switches modes button at the bottom and I'm gonna hide them and then make sure this guy is selected and they'll disappear. Then I'm gonna make sure that all of my layers are 3D. So what you wanna do now is we want to select this drop down over here, one view, and you wanna turn it into two view, and then make sure that this is not on active camera, but select top. What that'll do is on the right hand side, it's showing us our project looking down from the top, and on the left, this is what we see. Think of this as a stage, and stage has depth. You have a backdrop right at the back of the stage, and you have your not so very good actors or dancers at the back, and your best actors or dancers right in the front. So we're gonna replicate that right now in Z space by pushing things back and forward and rescaling them. So I'll start with my clean plate, which has to go right to the back, which is our backdrop. So we select it on the bottom here, and then on this window on the right, we make sure that we have our, our mouse selected on the Z. Click, hold, and just push that thing back. You can push it as far back as you want. I'm gonna go, I don't know that far back. And as you can see, it's created a uh, much smaller background on this side, which is not what we want, but that's very easy to fix. We go back over to the left and we pull our edges, hold down shift in order to maintain your proportions and we pull it out until it fits our background. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through each one and push them back into Z space, depending on where they are. So for instance, these ships in the background, they should be further back than the ship in front. So this one I'll push back in Z space. And as you can see, it's gone all out of sorts, so I'm gonna scale it up to more or less the size that it was, and then I'm also gonna click P, change its position, and put it back just more or less where it was. So that's perfect over there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this other ship. Uh, now it's gone too small, so I hit S to scale up, and hit P on the keyboard in order to move it. Let's push it a little bit higher. And you can just play around with those until they look more or less like they were. Now I'm going to move my ship in front, push it back, not as far back as the others, and then I need to rescale it, so push my scale up. More or less it's gone back into the position that it was. The last thing we need to do is Take our panther statue, push it back, looks good. I might have a little bit of a problem with this one because of the way that I don't have a complete clean plate. So you might see some of the other statue in the background, but I'm just gonna try cover it up as best that I can. And, and that works pretty well. And then the last thing, the king himself, he's behind the statue. So we push him behind in Z space and then we scale him back up and position him. And we can have fun with this later on. We can play around with it and I'll show you how we do that. But basically what's happened now is we've created a stage with different layers. Oh, and I forgot about my rocks. Sorry. Push these back there. I'm going to make them slightly bigger than they are just to help with selling the effect. We've got everything in Z space. Now the beauty and the magic of this effect comes in when we create a camera. So we right click down at the bottom here, say new 
camera. You can keep a 35 mil, that's totally fine and say, okay, this might happen. A little bit frustrating, but you're just gonna have to rescale and position a few things if the camera has changed their position and changed their scale. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. That looks good, back to normal. Now what you do is when you have your camera selected and you hit C on the keyboard, you can scroll through your different camera properties and I'm just gonna use this orbit tool and turn this thing just to show you what's happening in space. So you can see there that is what is now happening to our image and our poster. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with our scale and position in order to make it look good. I'm not actually gonna use the camera. What I will do is right click and say new null object. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use the pick whip parent that to the null and then make sure that your null layer is also a 3D layer. So now if I play with my null properties, transform, move this around, scale it in, scale it out, it basically performs in the same way that my camera does. I'm gonna close my view on the right. I'm gonna push one view. So I like to play with the anchor point on this. It just gives it a really good smoothness and look and feel. Let's create a anchor point here at two seconds. Let's go to six seconds, create another keyframe and this is where we want the picture to finish so that one's going to stay as it is we will go back to the beginning and zoom right in as far as we can go and let's slightly move it on the x-axis and let's just go in enough so we can't see anything so what it's going to do it's going to start to scale out you see the problem here that we have over there in the bottom corner you can see because i haven't got a proper clean plate but i'll show you how we can fix that if we play through it it gives a nice smooth pullback what i'll do is i'll take this keyframe Control c and paste it right here at this point we just want to scale out not too far but we want a bit of fast movement and then into slow i'm going to pull this one a little bit closer and then it slows down because at that point where it slows down we're going to add our titles now what you can do is you can individually change some of these layers so that statue for instance so let's go to our last keyframe where everything should end up and what we're going to do is we're going to play with its position position i'm going to make a keyframe right at the end and at this point we're going to push it across to the left and let's just start it there so it's out of the frame and it's moving as it comes into frame. And then what we can do is we can right click on the last keyframe and easy ease it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it to the end so that the camera pulls out, but our objects still have a little bit of movement. So I'm gonna push it to the eight second mark. And I'm gonna do the same with my other objects just to give it a bit of life. So the rocks, for instance, I'll make them push up from the bottom. So at this point, right at the end, keep the position there. And let's move back until they're off frame and we're just gonna drop them down a bit. My last one is I wanna get these spaceships to move in space a bit, so I'm gonna take this big one. I'm gonna leave the ones at the back as they are for now. Eight second mark, we're gonna keyframe its position, and then what we'll do is we'll drop it down and to the left, so almost like it's flying through space, and then come back to where you don't see it and pull your keyframe all the way to that point so that it's not sitting still and then all of a sudden it starts moving, but that it's moving before it comes into frame. And if I play through that, that it looks like it's flying, pretty cool. And let's easy ease that in order just to smooth it out. And then the last thing that I wanna do is just take the king himself and play with the position. So at the eight second mark, we're gonna put a position keyframe. What we'll do is we'll just drop him down so that he almost rises into the picture. Let's go back till he's off the frame and pull our keyframe all the way across. Hit easy ease. What we can do with the king is we could add a little bit of a puppet tool so we can kind of make him move slightly. So really easy to do. You just click on your layer, come up to this uh, puppet position tool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the end and we're going to put some positions puppet tool on him like this, one on his head, his body, and his legs. That's where it's gonna end, and then we go back a few seconds, and we can move these. So let's move it down, um, just to give it a little bit of movement. It might look a bit strange, but push the quality up so you guys can see what's happening. Sorry, After Effects struggles a bit with these type of effects, but there's got a little bit of movement, and he's kind of looking up. It, it's okay, you can play around with that puppet tool until you, you're happy with it. And then all you do after that is we add some effects. I added some smoke and some rain because we know for the movie that's coming up that Namor is gonna be a part of it, and it's gonna flood 
Wakanda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some rain just to fit with the theme and then some smoke. Let's just put that on. And all you do is just click on it, make sure that it's set in 3D space and then it'll also move with your project as it's pushing back, the rain is moving with it. And let's add some smoke, but we are going to start it here and we're gonna get it to transition out. So I think at this point, I'm gonna hit T, push the opacity to zero, make a keyframe and uh, make sure that it's at 100 here and it can slowly fade out. And all you do is you just add your title on top of that. If you are interested in how I made that title, let me know in the comments and I could show you how to do a tutorial on how to make that title with the Sabre plugin. And after that, your project looks like this. Guys, I hope that helped. I hope it was fun. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, are you excited for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever? I watched the trailer and I was literally tearing up. It looks like it's gonna be really sad, but also just so beautiful and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm a big Marvel nerd, Marvel fan. If you are too, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Peace out.